Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a 16 week update and kind of like a Q&A with my Instagram. Um, go follow me over on my Instagram if you're not. That's like real time, everything I'm doing on a day to day basis. Um, I'm filming outside today. It's really nice today. Um, let me know if you like this setup because I feel like it's just, you know, good vibes or whatever. So first I wanna talk about my symptoms, kind of some things that I've been experiencing that is really new within the last week and a half or so. And also at the end, towards the end, I'm going to be jumping right into the Q&A. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first let's get into some symptoms that I've been feeling and experiencing. I talked about this over my Instagram a couple times, I would say. But first, I feel like I want to talk about the girls okay so sleeping has been very different for me um usually i can sleep in like a big t-shirt and just sleep like that and it's really comfortable but as of lately i feel like i need some type of supportive wear on nothing crazy just like a loose um a loose fitting bra if you know what i'm talking about i'll insert a clip if i can have find a picture but something loose that just doesn't feel like things are just going everywhere if you know what i mean I'm really sore up there now. Um, my nipples have for sure gotten darker. Um, I think it's just preparing for baby. And I think they've engorged a lot more as well. So another thing that is different is shortness of breath. So just talking, I feel like it's, I have to catch my breath and like <sighs> breathe and <sighs> like really catch my breath and slow down when I'm talking. Um, our grocery store actually it has like stairs where you can like go, walk down the stairs to go into the grocery store and now when i walk down the stairs and even up the stairs i am like out of breath my body has been having like a lot of aches and pains i would say in the morning it takes me a while i would say to get out of bed so i really have to you know be gentle with my body listen to my body and see exactly how i'm feeling because I'm feeling a lot of discomfort in my hips and in my lower back. And I don't remember this feeling with Amina, but I have to like sit up very, very slow now. Another symptom that I've been having is cramping. So I know this is completely normal. I've already talked to my doctor about it, but I've been experiencing just some cramps here and there in my stomach. And it's not at any time in particular, it's really just random. So sometimes it's in the middle of the night, Sometimes it's, you know, while I'm working out, sometimes it's when I'm hanging out with Amina. It's really just random, but I've just been feeling some weird cramps in my stomach. Um, everything looks good though, baby looks good. So I don't know what that's about, but that's another symptom. And lastly, another symptom is I don't really have, I didn't really have food aversions this pregnancy, but I feel like sometimes in the morning when I'm cooking something for myself, like it's always eggs. Like my last pregnancy too, it was eggs. Like, ooh, like I can eat eggs this time, but sometimes I'll be in the middle of like scrambling some eggs. And soon as I'm about to put it on my plate, I'm like, ugh, like they just don't look good to me anymore. So I don't know if that's technically a food aversion because I eat eggs almost every morning, but some mornings it's like they look good and some mornings they don't. So other than that, I think that's it for my symptoms. Um, so let's get right into the Q&A. So someone asked, how has it been being pregnant while also taking care of another little one? And someone else said, pregnancy challenges with a toddler. So I feel like it's very important to plan out your day as best that you can. So right now, like I said, I'm feeling a lot of growing going on this week. Like, I don't know. But growing has definitely been... A big factor this week obviously I'm going into month four um with Amina I try to give her sometimes if I'm just not feeling up to it I try to give her activities where I don't have to move as much this sounds bad I guess now that I'm saying it out loud but um she has a sensory table and sometimes I set up like different colors and stuff for her to uh, I can explain to her like okay what color is this what color is that and I'll play with her and talk to her and work it out with her but it doesn't require like a whole lot of movement and me jumping around doing things. So on days where I do feel like I have a lot more energy, I'm taking her to the park, you know, we're going to swim class, we're doing this, we're doing that. So I'm always trying to, you know, do things with her. But you know, those days that you have to, you know, get outside, I would just say it's really important with toddlers to get their energy out in some sort of way. So usually Garrett will take her to the park or I'll take her to the park if Garrett's having a busy day at work. 
So it really just depends on what our flow is looking like for the day. So maybe with you and your partner, you could sit down at night. That's usually what me and Garrett do. In bed, we'll just talk like, hey, what do you have going on tomorrow? And he'll say, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You know, I'll say I want to film. And we just try, try to work around our schedules that way. And that's just what I feel like works best with us. What workout modifications have you had to start making? So I haven't made any modifications yet. I'm only four months pregnant. Everything I'm doing now, I've been doing before pretty much, except for one exception, which is back day. So for back day, um, I usually like to do pull-ups and I usually start with pull-ups. Um, it's like kind of, I guess they call it a compound movement. It's like using my all my body weight. Um, now that I'm you know, getting bigger, I wanna really be careful of protecting my abs and like practicing good technique as far as you know squeezing your core keeping your core tight not getting diastasis recti things like that so when i'm doing pull-ups at the gym i really try to slow down and think of engaging my core and then doing a pull-up and if i start to cone I, I immediately just drop off the bar and i do it again so i can't really rep out pull-ups anymore but i can still do like one pull-up and then come down and do another pull up and come down. So that's been a different modification that I've had to do. Another one is just being really aware of my body, listening to my body. So some days I can squat heavier, some days I can't. It really just depends on how my hips are feeling, how my back is feeling, all of these types of, all of those types of things. And I try to, you know, stretch at night, drink my tea at night, that just makes me feel better overall. But anytime I'm doing some type of, um, even if it's just bicep curls, I'm really focusing on squeezing my core. So I think that's the biggest modification I've made this far. It's just squeezing my core and everything I do and really being aware of my body. Round ligament pain. Um, I really don't know the proper term for round ligament pain, but I guess it's just like pain all over. I don't know, like, I think I said it in the beginning of this video, but basically like I feel it in my hips a lot and just like, stretching I don't know like growing it just feels like your body is like growing like you can feel I don't know how to explain it it just feels like you feel like okay something's happening this week so I feel like that's been a little different um with Amina when I was pregnant with her it was a lot of just sleep whenever you want to sleep it off sleep it off sleep it off so this time I'm way more aware of my body and I love that so yes this week I've been feeling a lot more growth with my body the baby and everything like that and having to really just listen to my body do you think this pregnancy is easier or harder than the first one um i feel like it's easier easier uh, i don't know each one had its pros and cons but like i said with amina i was able to sleep whenever i wanted you know eat kind of whatever i wanted um this time around i definitely don't want to gain 50 pounds like that if i do i do i don't really care but um, I'm trying to be more aware of what I'm putting into my body. So I think it's just this pregnancy, I was sick for like one week. One week, I was really sick. And after that, I would say it was just kind of like smooth sailing. Overall, I think that this pregnancy is about the same as the last one. I would just say I'm not as sleepy. I have more energy. I'm really more aware of what I'm doing. So I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to eat more foods and a well-balanced diet. So because I'm doing all of those things, I feel like I'm having an easier time. And Amina definitely makes me get up out of bed, you know, and do cer certain things. But when I was pregnant with Amina, I just kind of got up whenever I wanted, ate whenever I wanted, you know, so stuff like that. It, it just, it's helping me have more of a routine with having Amina. Do I have a feeling on what sex I'm having? No. With Amina? With Amina, I knew I really wanted a boy, but I knew I was having a girl, if that makes sense. I was like, wow, it'd be so great to have a boy. Like, boys are easy. You know, everyone tells you boys are easy, blah, blah, blah. But I knew, like, deep, deep down inside that I was having a girl. And I wanted to have a gender reveal and all that. But I just felt like I already knew. I was like, I'm having a girl. I, I can just feel it. Like, I'm not going to have a boy. Like, you know, it's not going to work out that way. Like, I want a boy, so why would I get a boy? You know what I mean? So I don't have any feelings this time. I don't even know. I don't know. It could be a girl. It could be a boy. I, I have no clue. What does Garrett think I'm having? Garrett doesn't think anything. Garrett wants a boy, and that's the end of story. <laughs> is Amina excited? I would say she is 
very nurturing. She's very nurturing, very loving. So she will kiss my stomach sometimes, but she'll also be really quick to slap my stomach and step all over my stomach. Like I don't let her step on it obviously, but if I am like laying back on the floor, she will like come and just like try to crawl over me to get a toy or do something. And she just, I don't think it's clicked yet that there's a growing baby in there. So what are you having? So many people want to know what I'm having, when I'm going to find out all this stuff. I find out July 13th what I'm having, but I'm not going to know. So July 13th is my anatomy skin. And I think I'm going to have my gender reveal like two weeks after. Um, so I guess I'll know then. I don't have a concrete date yet, but I think I will know by then. So stay tuned for a gender reveal video. Favorite way to practice self-care. Um, Garrett knows that self-care is super important to me. So he um, always is considerate when I'm like, I want to go to the gym at this time. You know, we work it out. That's part of my self-care routine. If I don't go to the gym, I feel like lazy. I don't want to say lazy, but like it makes me feel very sluggish and tired and like I don't do anything. It kind of makes me feel crazy in a way. Like I need to go outside and like get my scene out too, you know? Like, I mean, I have to go to the park. I need to go to the gym. Lifting weights and just having that good, what is it, the endorphins, like that good energy after you work out. I need to feel that. It makes me feel so much better. Working out has been a great thing for me. With Amina, I stopped working out. Like, soon as I was, like, four months pregnant, I would say I completely stopped. I just stopped. And I kind of regret it because now I feel like I have way more energy. I'm way more comfortable in the gym. Uh, and another thing I do for my self-care is my skincare at night. I love to oil my body with, like, oils at the end of the night, lavender oil. So I just go from, like, literally the neck all the way down my arms, you know, my thighs. I really like to just go very slow and kind of just like massage my body, massage my neck, my jawline. I grind my teeth at night. So I usually take like my moisturizer and I just like massage my jaw and like re release any tension that I feel like I have, like maybe to help me not grind my teeth. So that's what I've been doing for my self care. And I feel like it's been pretty good. And every night as well, me and Garrett have like a show that we like to watch. So right now we're watching Black Summer on Netflix. It's a zombie movie or a show rather. So if you have any recommendations, leave them down below. How do I feel? Feel great. <laughs> I talked about it a lot on these questions, but overall I feel really good and I feel like I'm having a pretty easy pregnancy so far. Y'all are crazy. So what keeps me motivated to work out while pregnant? Um, it's definitely not motivation. There is nothing motivating me. It's truly just like dedication to the gym that's been keeping me going every day because literally I would say every morning, every night, whatever time of day I go to the gym, I'm like telling myself, I'm like, Felicia, don't go to the gym. You have to cook dinner still. It's five o'clock. Like, come on. It'll be easier to just stay home and cook dinner and then you don't have to rush. Like my brain like will really try to trick me into staying home. I'm just like, okay, we're going to shut that down. We're going to go to the gym. Like, oh my God, hurry, hurry, hurry. So I feel like it's truly just like wanting to be dedicated to working out this entire pregnancy. That's what I wanted for Amina. But I, everyone was like, don't work out, you know, listen to your body. It's your first pregnancy. Eat for two, like eat whatever you want, lay down, blah, blah, blah. But I just didn't feel good. So now I'm working out. I feel way better. Um, I'm going to keep doing that and just keep going until I just actually have discomfort while I'm working out. So am I feeling excited to find out the gender of the baby? And am I hoping for a specific gender? Not really, it can go either way for me. Honestly, I don't really care. Um, I'm not hoping for a specific gender. Everyone like thinks like I'm dying for a boy. And I think everyone wants a boy for me. But honestly, like I really want that sister bond. I didn't grow up having a sister. So I feel like I've, I would love to see that sister, sister bond and to grow up with like a sister or older sister. Like, you know, I feel like I would love that bond for Amina. And I think that would be so cool to like see that bond. I know so many people with a sister and I just think it's like pretty cool. Um, but also it's like, it'd be so cool to have a boy too, you know, to be like, I mean, it's the older sister. Like, I feel like they would get along more than two sisters would or two girls rather, but See, that's why I don't care. It's like the brother and the sister bond is really cool, but the sister and sister bond is really cool. Um, so yeah, honestly, I, I, I don't care either way. <laughs> Morning sickness? 
None. I've had no morning sickness. Didn't have any with Amina. Didn't have any this time. Fingers crossed nothing randomly happens, but I've been very lucky. Any differences between this pregnancy and the last one at 16 weeks? I don't even remember what I felt like at 16 weeks. I just know I stopped working out around this time and I was just very um, tired, low energy, things like that. Um, so this time around, I have a lot more energy. I, I talked about that, but yeah, that's just the only difference that I've noticed. Are you having any cravings besides tacos? So you guys know on Instagram, I had my little taco fix and it was so good, um, so worth it, everything, even the mess. Um, in the beginning, in the first trimester, like literally up until 14 weeks, I was craving peanut butter Captain Crunch. Every single night I would have a bowl and let me tell you guys, it's so good, it's so good. Like it's amazing. I haven't had any since then. And it hasn't really sounded that good. It sounds good right now. Like, I don't know why, random. But I haven't bought any and it hasn't really sounded that good. I have like random cravings here and there. Like tonight I was kind of like, ooh, a smash burger sounds so good with some egg and some avocado and some bacon and some, you know, barbecue sauce. So I have like random cravings like that, but nothing that is like I could eat it all the time. Um, no, not really, I would say any heartburn or other gender symptoms. I honestly don't even know the gender symptoms, so I'm gonna say no. I know they say sometimes if you're craving salty food, it's a boy, or sweet food, it's a girl or something, but I was craving potatoes with Amina too, and I was craving potatoes this time. So, how's the libido? <laughs> So I feel like I'm like so passionate about this topic. So those of you that are my friends, you know that we always have the topic about sex very openly, very honestly. So if you know, mom and dad, if you're watching this, click off, see ya. But um, you know, libido, I feel like we should all talk about libido. Sex drive, you know, sometimes you go through different seasons where your partner may have a higher sex drive than you, or you may have a higher sex drive than your partner. Everyone talks about pregnancy sex and it's like, the best thing ever, oh my God. I, I truly feel like people say pregnancy sex is the best thing ever because you don't have to worry about getting pregnant. It's like you're already pregnant, you know? But um, other than that, I feel like sometimes, you know, your body, you're having aches, you're having pains. Like no one talks about that. Like what about the aches and pains that you have while having sex? Like you have to be open and honest about that. You have to talk about that with your partner. Sometimes that can be uncomfortable for some people, you know, and awkward for some people, but it needs to be talked about. Like. Not everyone has the sky high sex drive like during pregnancy, you know? So I think it's just, you know, be open and honest with your partner and tell them how you're feeling or how you, you know, if you really want to have sex, if you don't. So I think at the beginning of my pregnancy, it was just like, Meh. don't look at me, don't talk to me, don't touch me, you know? And you know, now I'm just kind of moving back up, but it's just like, let's just be honest you know let's be more open about this conversation about sex but i think that is it for today's video i answered all of your guys's questions if you stay to the very end thank you so so much and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it really helps me a lot and please subscribe to my channel i would appreciate it so much and i will see you guys next time bye guys sorry hey guys welcome back to my Okay, so now, um, it's definitely...